Cheers from Newt to London, home of the best three-eyed fish and chips in the Milky Way. The Hatriots hooligans have been drinking all morning here outside Flembley Stadium, and they are ready for blood. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The micro-hard mutilators face off against the Newt to London Hatriots. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you asked for, Grim. And it's first and ten. He just got crushed. <laughs> Second down and ten. Oh, man, he re Murphy Brown. What? I mean, first down. What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. That one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down in nine. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and five. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a downer's guy than a speed feed grip. He's running from his team, it's clear. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Luke Warm. And he's proud of that? Yeah. That's why he made his clothing company, Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. There's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Third and two. And the defense goes for the juggler and rushes to kill him. In some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And it's first and ten. He's 
off to the races. First and eight to go. And the defense gives up five yards there. And that'll be second down and four. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. Third down and three. If they don't pick it up here, they are giving a gift to the defense. And the crowd goes wild! Touchdown! Touchdown! Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Third down, and the punter is warming up. There aren't too many players that kids can look up to at home. I'm glad one guy is stepping up. Well, he's stepping down, too. He just stopped that plan of death. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> And they'll line up for the punt here. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburner. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. <laughs> and it's first and 10. Supersonic. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. <laughs> well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars.
First and goal. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. killer it was right there and then he dropped it oh scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league second down and ten one time when i was playing a guy hit me so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i saw my grandparents waving at me in the light turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could be mine. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Brixton. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> He's leaving it all out on the field today. And there's his large intestines over there, his liver. I think his spleen is stuck on that guy's cleat. No, that's a gallbladder. Oh, my bad. He scores! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Second down in a mile. Stumbling, he could go all the way. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And this ref is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. Six. 
second down, and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Oh, the defender just knocked the ball loose. Well, that'll wake you up, then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Uh, unless you're in a sleeping contest. Third down and forever. And they went to the air and came up big. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a big snag. He got hit by a car and died. He refuses to go down. Man. 
And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. They just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. And this guy is on Fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? <laughs> By the looks of it, extra crispy. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And that'll be second down and four. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Third and four. First down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And it's first and ten. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the big six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, NFL isn't... The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to conserve time. was there but he still picked up a yard somehow second down and under two minutes a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock and he better win the quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense and they just popped his eyes in the back of his head that quarterback should be hurting or dead or worse Third down, and the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? Third down, and the punter is warming up. And that pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. 
Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Chinese food again, Grim? Huh? Hey, give me the bang pow chicken. That stuff is good. And don't forget my fucking egg rolls this time. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. Third down and long. Pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. And it looks like the offense is desperate for a first down. This is your brain, and this is your... And that'll make the highlight reel for what not to do on fourth down. It's first and ten. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up Della Bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. Oh man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. First and eight to go. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Second down and long. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. And that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. Well, the kickers are dead, so they're sending out a guy who hasn't kicked since college, where he did set a lot of records. Yeah, he holds the record for most consecutive kicks missed. 400. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. First down! This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Grim. I don't even think he knows what a first down is. And it's 
first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack. Up. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. And it's first and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down in a mile. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Third down and never going to happen. Devastating hit knocks the ball loose. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Oh, and the defense just called a time warp dirty trick. And now it's like everything that just happened didn't. Get Brick's mom on the phone, quick. I want to use 13,000 of those time warps and undo a mistake she did about 35 years ago. <laughs> well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really... And they faked the punt trying to catch the defense napping. And the defense won that one handily. The offense fails on fourth down and turns the ball over. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and, well, good luck. I personally think the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I will be the one to tell him. He picks up 10 yards on that play. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the man. What a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. Holds him to a four yard pickup there. Third down and three. And that'll 
that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. two-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. And that'll be second and eight to go. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Third down and three. See this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I had the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Second down and more than the QB would like. And they run it for a couple of yards. Third down and 10. That's a six yard gain on that catch. Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You got to punt it here. Come on. He had it for a second there. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. He turned into a mutant fireball with that flame on dirty trick. And anything he touches gets flumbing. Oh, and he just made a nice cut to avoid the saw. But the saw just made a better, cleaner cut to the ball carrier. He's not going down. And that's how you run the football. First down. First and ten. And a hard run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. First down. We're at the two-minute mark in the second half.
First down and one. calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. And that'll be second down and four. Not one. Right. Not much there. Maybe a yard. <laughs> a timeout is called by the defense to stop the clock. They have one remaining. Third down and three. Not Hot one, three. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Looks like it does have some turkeys getting wrapped up on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. Turn after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. The offense goes into their two minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry up offense, you moron. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. <laughs> Second and three. And timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up, too? Grim, can I kill him? Third down and five. He picks up five on that play. The offense is looking for a miracle comeback, but for that to happen, they'll need to pick up this first down. I need a miracle. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Eight. Oh, and that quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the... The Nukes London Hatriots lose today's game. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Well, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotropism. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.